Mm, so close. I know how frustrating it could be when you have zero views and zero subscribers. Your YouTube channel, you are getting started. No one knows who you are yet and what kind of content you produce. You spend all that time planning and scripting and, and filming and editing the videos and you're all excited and you upload it to YouTube. Only a few people watch it. I remember back then when I had zero views and zero subscribers and I, I would upload a video and I would wait and I would refresh a few times, hopefully to get a few more views. So I know what it's like when you're starting from scratch. And I know a lot of my fans that I inspire you to start your YouTube channel. By the way, if you start your YouTube channel because of following my work, comment below and let me know. I might just check out your YouTube channel. So. How do you grow with zero views and zero subscribers? See, in the publishing world, I've done a number of books, and there's a joke that we talk about in the publishing world. Well, how do you become a best-selling author? Well, it's easy to become a best-selling author if you already have a best-seller, right? So meaning that it's easy to grow your YouTube channel if your YouTube channel already has a lot of subscribers, and also you're already famous, then it's easy for your videos to go viral or to get more views and get more eyeballs when you already have a big YouTube channel. But what do you do if you're starting from scratch? So today I'm going to share five secrets with you. If I was to start all over again, growing with zero views and zero subscribers, what are the five things that I would do? So make sure you stay until the very end. I'm gonna share one secret with you that will explode your subscribers and explode your views. You ready? Let's go. YouTube secret number one. Hey, Jeffers, do you remember what secret number one is? I believe it's use compelling titles, sir. Right, use compelling titles. You don't want to be boring. One of the biggest scenes you could commit as a YouTuber is to have boring titles. Yes, I know there are YouTubers out there that they have boring titles and yet they still have millions and millions of followers. If you are Casey, that's a different story. Casey breaks every single rule and still has a massive following. But for most people who are starting from zero views and zero subscribers, you want to have compelling, compelling titles for your videos because people are searching you. They don't know you yet. So let me give you some templates, some examples because I got started as a copywriter. I remember back then when I was doing copywriting, when I was writing any kind of titles, any kind of headlines, we call that, that we want to make it interesting. And one of the litmus tests is we ask ourselves, would this headline work in a classified ad? Yes, I know, newspaper, I'm sharing with my age, I get that, okay? But newspaper, people are flipping through the newspaper and they could see, okay, would this headline be compelling enough for people to, to read, want to find out more information? So it's the same thing. So let me give you some proven headlines or just some ideas when it comes to titles. Number one, how to. How to is always a very, very powerful title because people go on YouTube, they want to find out, hey, how do I do something, right? How to is a very, very powerful title. One of my videos that went kind of viral is how to make a thousand dollars a day using your smartphone, with your smartphone. So it has a promise and also tells them, hey, I will learn how to do something. So how to is a huge category on YouTube. Second, it could be a variation of that, like how I, how I have done something. Another video that went viral for my channel is how I retired at the age of 27, where I kind of share my story, what I've done, some of the lessons that I've learned. So that's another example. Another good example is secrets of, secrets of. So people want to know, right, Javits? People want to know. People want to know, want to know sir. People want to know. What are the secrets, secrets of? So example of one of my videos, the secret to closing more sales. That's another example. The secret of or secrets of, and if you have even a, a specific numbers, three or four or five, that's even more powerful. Another example, warning type headline, such as I have this video called, don't start a business until you watch this, or don't start your YouTube channel until you watch this. It's kind of like a warning. Hey, don't do that until you watch this video. You see how it's very much curiosity driven? Or 
one more example and that is a headline, a title that is outcome driven. Example, the most dangerous animals in the world. Oh, that's interesting. You see that, that has a very particular, very precise, very specific payoff. When your viewers click on that video, before even they click on that video, they know exactly what they are going to get. Now, when your channel is small, right? When you have no views, zero views and zero subscribers, when you use a title like, hey, my trip to Europe, nobody gives a damn because no one knows who you are yet, right? And once you have millions of followers and subscribers, sure, my trip to Europe, your fans want to know, hey, what is going on? I want to know. Those vlogging type videos, you will get traction. But in the beginning, it's much more difficult to get traction if you are not well known. So why not focus a topic that people are already searching for, right? Using how to, using the warning, using secrets of, right? Using those proven titles. That way you'll grow much, much faster. YouTube secret number two, hook them with a YouTube trailer. Think about your favorite movie, right? Before it comes out, you're all excited. Right? The movie company, what do they do? They release a trailer. They give you some of the best scenes from the movie. So you're looking forward when the movie comes out. You should do the same thing for your YouTube channel. So you have your first time visitor going to your channel, going into the homepage of your channel, take a click on it and you can see what your channel is about. Robert Cialdini in his book, Influence, the psychology of persuasion. He talks about why you need to give them a reason to do something. People need to know, they need to have a reason why they need to do it. It's not enough to say, hey, my content is fantastic, my videos are fantastic, that you should subscribe. It's not good enough. So in your trailer, tell them who you are, what you're about, how often you upload, why should they subscribe, and exactly what do you want them to do. Now, would it be helpful if I give you some kind of a, a script for your trailer? Comment below. Yes? Here we go. You could say something like this. Hey, my name is blank. I am a, an entrepreneur. I'm a blogger. I'm a travel enthusiast. Whatever it might be, I am a blank, right? When you subscribe to my channel, you tell them you're going to get X, Y, Z, what are the benefits? Why do you subscribe? Hey, you're gonna learn more about this. That you're gonna learn more about that. You're gonna get this kind of value. You gotta tell people that, right? And also tell them, every single week I upload one video, two videos, or every single Tuesday and Thursday I will upload a video for you. Tell them the frequency of your upload so they know what to expect. And don't forget to tell people exactly what you want them to do. Don't assume because you have good content, oh, they'll naturally subscribe. No, you gotta tell them. So tell them, hey, click on the button here, subscribe, or click on the button there, subscribe to my YouTube channel today. And make sure you hit the bell. Make sure you turn on the notification. You got to tell them what to do. You got it? Secret number three, and that is fall in love with your fans, not your content. One of the biggest mistakes a lot of YouTubers make, they make videos that they want to make instead of making videos that your fans want. You see, it's very easy to forget that there's another human being behind this watching you. That you look at the thumbs up, you look at the numbers, you look at the views, you look at subscribers, and you think it's just a digit. Well, it's not just a digit. Let me tell you this. Behind this, there's a person, there's a human being with feelings, emotions, and struggles. Never forget that. Don't ever, ever treat your fan like a digit. It's very, very important. And I think one of the reasons why my series, Boss and the Bentley, does so well on YouTube, because it's Q&A. It's my fans, you submitting a question, and I answer them. I interact, and I comment. That makes a huge difference. So you have to care about your fans. Another thing that you could do is as a creator, as a YouTuber, you could give your fans comment a heart to let them know. And when you do that, your fan who left that comment would actually get a notification that you have given them a heart. Sometimes I know when I read your comments, I give you a heart and my fans, you, you're thinking, is that really you? Dan, did you just give me a heart? Yes, it's really me. I think any YouTubers, when they think they're too big and they're too popular and they no longer connect with their fans, they're not gonna last long. 
YouTube secret number four, have a CTA in your video. What does CTA stand for? Call to action. Call to action. You have to tell your viewers exactly what do you want them to do. Do you want them to share your video? Do you want them to give you a thumbs up? Do you want them to comment below on your video? You have to tell them exactly what to do. Never ever assume. You see, one of the things that I did when I started telling my viewers, you to click on the button below and subscribe to my channel. I saw a significant jump in terms of subscribers that I get. At first I thought, hey, if you love my content, don't you like naturally subscribe? People don't do that. And there are many ways you can do this. There are many ways you can insert call to action. Example, you can do it before, during, and after. So in the beginning of your video, you could say something like, Hey, if this is the first time you are watching my video or this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You could do something like that. Or in the middle, right, during your video, you could say, hey, if you want me to teach you more about this, you want me to share more about this experience, you want me to make more of this kind of video, make sure you comment below and hey, don't forget to subscribe. Or you can also do it at the end. Of course, don't overdo this, right? You don't want to do it like three, four times. That's a bit overkill. But at the end of your video, you could say something like, hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell and turn on their notification. It's very, very important that you ask them to turn on the notification. It means that every single time you release a video, there's a chance that they will see it on their homepage, the subscribers fee. So then they will more likely to click on your video. So call to action. YouTube secret number five, and that it's long-term consistency trumps short-term intensity. I think most YouTubers, they give up too soon. They upload some videos or they upload a dozen videos and then they give up because they are saying to themselves, no one is watching my video. I'm not getting enough views, no comment. Why I spend so much time making these videos. I know how you feel. I know how, how sucky it is when you upload a video and you spend all that time, you're creating that perfect piece of content and then no one watches your video. But you have to stay consistent. You have to think of this as a long-term game. Think of it as like you're pushing a, a snowball uphill, right? In the beginning, it's very, very, very heavy, very heavy. You keep pushing and you keep pushing. But once you hit that tipping point, once you, you go over that mountain, right, that, that hum, everything becomes so much faster, like that snowball effect. I still remember what took me before months, the amount of views that took me months to get now, I could get it in hours. Why? Because of that snowball effect. I promise you, if you upload two times a week instead of one time, your channel will grow faster. If you upload three times a week instead of just two times, your channel will grow even faster. My channel exploded the minute I commit to a daily upload. Now I'm not saying that you have to upload a video every single day, but that works. That long-term consistency absolutely trumps that short-term intensity. Do it long-term. Think of this as a long-term game. You're investing, you're building an asset, you're building a platform. It is absolutely worth it. So those are the five secrets on how to grow with zero views and zero subscribers. I have so many more secrets I wanna share with you. In fact, I'm doing a special online event, a virtual event that you could participate called YouTube Secrets. Click the link here or here and get your ticket today. You can join me from the comfort of your own home where I'm gonna share with you way more secrets. How do you grow that channel? How do you monetize your YouTube channel? How do you make a full-time living as a YouTuber? So click the link here or there and I will see you at the event.